Sinead Zoo and we are looking for wild maras today and they're not wild but they are everywhere around this zoo just scattered so we're going to try and look for some with the car and if we see some we're going to jump out quick and we're going to film with them. Okay, we've got to go down and saw Mara. Right here is a Patagonian Mara. And just slow down, slow down. Crouch down. Oh, there's another one behind the bench. Come over here. Right here are two Patagonian Maras. And they're most closely related to capybaras and are a very big rodent now as everyone knows capybaras have exploded over the internet and everybody loves them and i think maras look just as cute i mean they look like rabbits but they look bigger and different pretty much but wow look at them we're so close to them right now and i can't believe this one it's just staying right here because normally they freak out and they're very like squeamish creatures but this one is just staying okay we're gonna stay where we are stay put stay put he's gonna move any second now but look at them they look very much like capybaras don't they watch it don't go any close oh yeah see so yeah they're very they're very scared of humans, don't like human interaction that much and you know, well that one's weird, but you know, they normally eat just the grass vegetation around so they definitely have enough food to survive in there. But their number one priority is avoiding, definitely avoiding humans. If Patagonian Maras are raised with humans, then they will most likely come and even sometimes you'll be able to stroke them. But these Patagonian Maras most likely were not raised with humans, but they were very tame with humans. So they won't run away as much, but they are still quite scared of humans, as you can see here, which we can barely get close enough before. They run away. Luckily, they have no predators, so they live very happy. And there's so many of them here, so yeah. It's very amazing to see them, and I'll see you in the next WWZP. Peace.